you hear me now? <laughs> um, certainly important in terms of the global economy towards society and certainly for the conservation of a very unique set of uh, community of marine life. Um, this topic is also not only important but timely, very timely right now for several reasons. First, despite the current economic uh, climate, the reality of seafloor mining is certainly not far off, and I think that's demonstrated by the number of industries that are uh, represented here who are interested in this, as well as in moving forward on the science and policy frameworks that would allow that to uh, develop. Certainly de the demand for precious metals, gold, copper, zinc, um, is there, um, not only for their rarity, but of course for these metals that are commercially valuable in a great many applications. And finally, it's timely because the International Seabed Authority has drafted um, a set of guidelines for seafloor mining, um, and the decision about those guidelines will be made sometime this spring in the, in the May-June time frame. So this conference, this colloquium, this topic um, is certainly of importance, not only globally, but timely um, as we look forward to these decisions to be made. And of course, as a result, it's very important to develop and keep an open dialogue between the scientists, both geologic and uh, biological scientists, as well as industry and the governing authorities, so that we can make wise and informed decisions about moving forward the uh, development of these uh, resources from the ocean. Um, I'd like to note that there's almost 100 participants from 20 countries here which is really incredible and remarkable that I think highlights the fact that this indeed is of a, a global topic of international interest and of course it is because we're talking about mining in international waters in many, in many cases here. Many different specialties and backgrounds are represented here discussing how the hydrothermal event science overlays with policy and uh, uh, commercial interests. Um, Hui which is, a, I like to think, is always a crossroads for bringing together people who are really interested about studying the ocean um, and the application of uh, uh, that science to ocean resources and humanity. It's not only a crossroads there, we're also a leader in deep submergent science. So having this particular colloquium on this particular topic hosted by the Woods Hole Oceanographic is very, very appropriate. And I, I'm delighted that we're able to do this. Um, I think it's important, I, I, I don't know how many of you have a program, but in, in reading through the program notes that, that I had that really talks about uh, the uh, gift of Elizabeth and um, Henry Morris who provided for the ability to have these uh, colloquium. And I, I note in there that they really, their goal, their vision was to have um, an interdisciplinary link up between the present and future and looking at an integrated overview of research and discovery. And the quote that they have here that I want to underscore with you is they said, an expanding world needs an expanding dialogue and with a better global perspective. The meeting of minds can mean a happy introduction of new advances in knowledge and thinking into human and planetary acceptance. I think that quote is very, very appropriate um, and really leads very nicely and interfaces nightly with this particular topic. Um, I do want to have, give some thanks to at least three people. Um, certainly Stace Bolio, who's been organizing this for about a year. Uh, Stace, uh, congratulations, it's coming to fruition here. To Morris Tyvey, who's also put in great many hours for this. To Mindy Todd, who has taken her time and who will be the moderator this afternoon for the, the session here and also did a, a lovely interview about a week or so ago about this uh, particular topic on um, the local NPR station, and of course to our distinguished speakers and panelists who I know will give us a very lively discussion here, and of course I'm counting on all of you to make sure that they provide you with, with a lively discussion. With that um, introduction, welcome, and let me introduce and turn this over to Mindy so we can get going to the more important speakers, okay? Thank you.